Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video, I'm going to be answering all of your assumptions that you thought of me and going to be doing my makeup while answering them. Some of them are very, very interesting, but I left a question box over on my Instagram, which will be in the description or on the screen now, and you gave me all of your assumptions that you thought of me, and there is quite a few. Let's just say, I'm going to try and get through most of these if I can, because there is quite a lot, but then it does take me quite a long time to do makeup, so I should be able to get through all of them quite easily. Thank you for all of your support on both of my other, U no, three, all three of my YouTube videos that are up already. I'm so grateful for the support, and I honestly didn't think that you'd love them as much as you do, which I am very happy about because then it motivates me to film more videos. Quite a few of these are the same, which makes me wonder something. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's go on to the video. I'm gonna try and get my hair out from my face with this thing. I don't really know how you put it on though. I don't know how you do this. Um, uh, in a knot on top of my ears. <laughs> no. So I finally got this on, and yeah, let's start doing makeup. I'm gonna tell you what products I'm using as well. I'm gonna be using. This primer set is probably one of my favourite primers. Once I put the primer on, I'm gonna answer my first assumption about me. I was making whether like doing my makeup before or like not wearing any makeup in this video. And then one of my friends said to why not do my makeup while I'm filming the video to make it more interesting. Which I was like, yeah, why not? So here I am. <laughs> So for foundation, I'm going to be using two, which is the Primark Matte Con Concealer Foundation and the Maybelline Superstay. These both are such good foundations. This was literally like £2 as well and it's lasted quite a while and it's also really good. Definitely recommend it. I always put too much of this on. Like this is already too much on my hand. Yeah, I'm about to add more. Clever. So the first assumption of me was that I'm quite shy. Which, I did get this one quite a lot, and I guess you can, like, I am quite shy, and then it's just, like, kind of when you get to know me a bit more, that I do kind of, like, open up a bit, and I'm a bit more louder. Like, in, in front of my friends, I'm not quite at all. And this is quite a question that I get asked quite a lot, was, like, how do you be confident, like, how to be confident? Honestly, I'm not confident in the slightest. If you act confident... To people people will think you're confident but they don't know that you're just acting confident when you're actually not so then you do like become confident if that makes any sense so now i'm going to go in with the maybelline fit me concealer and the next assumption is that i'm popular at school i wouldn't say i'm popular at all to be honest like i am pretty much friends with most people at school but i wouldn't class myself as popular you don't have any siblings um yeah i actually do have siblings i have three sisters and one brother but only one sister lives with me no one was you're the one who everyone goes to for advice not really like i'm pretty bad at advice to be honest like i don't know i try to be good at advice <laughs> not sure if it works i mean ask the people who came like some people do come to me for advice like Quite a few people do. Don't know whether I'm good at it or not. But I mean, if they come to me for advice, then I obviously guess I am kind of good. Like, I'm good in, like, different situations. Like, it depends what the situation is about. Um, whether, like, I'm good at advice or whatever. That I started my makeup account for a laugh. Um, I wouldn't say I started it for a laugh. I just, I started it because I love doing makeup. So I wanted to, like show that i love makeup um i didn't obviously start it thinking that i would get where i am now because like to think when i started this account that i'd be here within like a year is literally crazy to me like i would never have thought it ever and i'm just so grateful for it obviously um yeah i didn't start it for a laugh i kind of just started it because I did enjoy makeup. Next I'm just going in with the loose powder from Revolution, which I did use in my previous video. And the next assumption is that I've made best friends on Instagram, which is definitely true. I honestly don't know what I would do on this account if I didn't make friends. Like, obviously I started my account not even knowing that there were this many people with a makeup account. Like, 
I literally didn't have a clue that there were this many people or that I'd make literally the best, the bestest friends. I don't know if that's a word. Like, I've literally, I don't know what I'd do without them. Like, we've become so close. And I have actually met m most of them, I'd say, um, at Whitsy last year. You were tall. Um, yeah, I am pretty tall. I am five foot seven. So yeah, you are a good cook. You, <laughs> that is very, very far from right. So I'm using this Revolution contour palette and doing the middle shade again called Warrior. So another assumption is that I have quite a lot of friends, which I think it can be true, but also I don't, I don't have like loads of friends but i am friends with quite a lot of people obviously i'm not close with all of them but like you can say i'm friends with them yeah another assumption is that i joined many gain groups well i can probably say this is true like i don't do it now because i just i don't like them at all but like when i first started my account like i just i didn't really know much about like everything to do with it so then I didn't like really know what ways I could like gain like followers and stuff like because back then I probably would say I was like oh my god I want loads of followers so next I'm just going in with the Focalore blusher um and the next assumption is that you're not a party person well I've never actually been to a party like at my age now obviously I did go to parties like when I was younger but like everyone pretty much goes to them um but I feel like if I had the chance to go to a party now, then, like, I would be a party person. Because I do actually really want to go to a party. So I think if I had been to a party the year, I would be a party person. But because I've never gone to a party, I guess I can't really answer that question properly. The next assumption is that your room is always clean. I mean, if you could see my room now, that would answer your question. So, do well in school. Yeah, about that. Not really. <laughs> I mean, I try to. You love McDonald's. Yes, I do love McDonald's. McDonald's is very nice. I've told myself before that I don't like McDonald's. I feel like I do go through stages where I'm like, yeah, I love McDonald's. Other times I'm just like, McDonald's is gross. But like, yeah, I do love McDonald's. We're going to be going in with the Focalore highlighter. And the next assumption is that you're very dirty minded. I mean, I wouldn't cast myself as dirty minded i mean leave it up to my friends because they're the ones that probably know if i'm dirty minded or not um your hair is naturally brown yes but like this color because this is my like natural hair color coming through at the roots so i guess you can class it as brown it's not like probably dark brown but it's kind of like blondy brown like a strawberry blonde well it's not blonde at all though this one is that you're rich no not at all <laughs> far from rich um i mean i'd love to be rich that'd be incredible but no i'm not rich at all this highlighter is so nice probably my favorite highlighter i think you want this to be your job when you're older i mean i would love for it to be my job when i'm older but obviously i'm not going to have my head set on this being my job for when i'm older because i mean it might not work out like, it might seem like it's working out now but then when, like, as I get older, it might not work out. I would love for this and my makeup account to be my job when I'm older. But I'm not, like, going to have my mind set on that because it might not work out. Um, so the next one is you're completely English, which, yeah, that's true. You're obsessed with Anastasia Kings North. I wouldn't say I'm obsessed with her. Like, I do like watching her videos. She is, like, really entertaining and she is stunning. You take a long time to get ready. Well, it depends... Yeah, I do take a long time to get ready, to be honest. You prefer summer over winter. This isn't true. I definitely... Wait. No, this is true. I read it the other way around. I didn't read it the other way around. I thought it was the other way around. You'd rather have a job on YouTube than Instagram. I I don't really know. Like, I'd probably say I love both just as much. Like, obviously, I have only just started YouTube. So, I don't really... Like, I'm not, like, in YouTube yet, really. Like, I don't know everything about youtube um but i i love both just as much at the minute you get paid a lot to film instagram videos no this isn't true at all there has been 
a couple things I have got paid for in Instagram. But like, obviously, when I first started Instagram, I didn't even know you could make money from it. Like, I had no idea that you could make money from Instagram. Um, but I have made quite a reasonable amount from my account. Um, but I don't get paid for, like, to post. Like, everything I post, I don't get paid for all of it. You only get paid, like, if you do like, ads with brands. Um, and, like things like that you take art GCSE no I don't take art GCSE I'm all for art honestly I'm so bad at it another assumption is that you started YouTube for the money no this is not true at all um I did have YouTube like in July and obviously I now have it now but I think it's it would be way too hard to do something just for the money because if you don't enjoy something then obviously it is going to be it's going to be way too hard to like carry on with it for everything. Alright, so let's take this off and then I'm going to answer the rest of your assumptions. Because then I can con- oh, uh. <laughs> Then I can concentrate on answering the assumptions more than the makeup. Um, oh god. Right, so I finished my makeup. So the next assumption is that there's a meaning behind your name. By the way, love it. Thank you. And I don't- I don't know if there's a meaning behind my name. But I know my name's from Hawaii. Um, I do actually really want to go to Hawaii as well. It looks so nice. Um, but I'm not sure whether there's a meaning behind it or anything. Um, another one is you buy your followers. This is definitely not true. Like, this is far from true. Like, I've worked for, like, a year and a bit. Because I started my account last... Yeah, last year in January. And I've worked, like, that hard for an entire year. Another one is that your family is wealthy. Yeah, they are. I wouldn't say they're not wealthy. Obviously, we're not rich, but we're not poor, so yeah, we're wealthy. Another one is you have a boyfriend. No, not true at all. Our assumption is that I'm humble and patient. <laughs> I don't really know what humble means, but I'm definitely not patient. <laughs> so, I'm guessing humble to do with patient, so let's just say no. Um, you're popular. Again, I wouldn't cast myself as popular. I just say I am friends with quite a lot of people, but I'm definitely not popular. Many of your friends kind of ditched you after you blew up on Instagram. This is definitely not true. Like, I'm quite grateful that all of my friends that, like, know about my account. Because pretty much everyone from my year does know about my account. And they're all, like, really supportive about it. Um, so I definitely haven't lost any of my friends. Which I am obviously glad about. Um, your parents give you some money towards makeup products. Yes, this is definitely true. Some products I, like, obviously do buy myself. But some I've got for, like, my birthday, for Christmas. I don't think of this, by the way, but all of your makeup friends use each other for follows. Quite a lot of people probably do think this, but this is, like, not true in the slightest. Like, it would be hard to be friends with people for that long if it was just for follows. Like, honestly, it would be way too hard. And with, like, n no one that I am friends with is, like, clout chasing or whatever. Because even if they were, like, you just, you couldn't be friends with someone for that long if that was the reason they wanted to be friends. Do like, you know what I mean? Like, you couldn't be fake with someone for that long. The last assumption is that you get bullied about your account on YouTube. This is definitely not true. I am, like, quite lucky that I have got supportive people around me. Um, I haven't got bullied. Obviously, maybe, like, when I first started my account, there were, like, a few people that would maybe say, like, little things about it. But, like, no one says anything about it. So, that is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I actually really enjoyed that video, like, answering your assumptions of me and, like, what you thought of me. And I hope, like, this video has, like, answered some things. And you probably did find out some things that you may not have known about me. Um... But yeah, it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe and like this video. Also, comment down below more video ideas and like what you thought of this video. Um, I'll leave my Instagram on the screen here and in the description below along with all of my socials. Um, if you could go check that out, it would mean the world. And message me on Instagram where I'm more active of any video ideas you'd like me to do. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.